Hello, welcome to the directions for the permeability lab. Permeability is how easily water travels through sediments. And today we're going to have the, we're going to know the permeability of three different kinds of sediments. We have pool filter sand, will be the smallest kind, it looks like this. Our medium sized sediment is called coarse sand and it looks like this. And then our largest sediment today are pebbles and they look like this. Okay. And the goal here, you and your group will have to will have a setup such as this, a tube setup with a screen on the bottom. And notice how we have a mixture of the pebbles, coarse sand, and pool filter sand. You're going to uh, be allowed 300 milliliters total of sediment. Uh, you will have to choose how much of each um, in milliliters, how much of each to use. When, so when you pour in water here, you want to time how long it takes 200 milliliters to drain out. And we're going to give you that target time, um, and that's what you're going to try to reach. So the amount of each you use, that is for you and your group to decide um, how much of each sediment. But before we can get started with that, there's some other uh, information you need to know and some other things that we need to do, and we can get to that now. Okay, in order for you to know how much of each sediment to put in your tube to reach your target time, you're going to need to know how fast the water travels through each of the three different sediments. And that is something that we did for you, so it's one less thing you need to do. Now, we were in a bit of a rush, but we filmed it, and uh, we're going to have the numbers at the end. So you're going to look at that right now. Okay, our results from our permeability trials that we just did are these numbers. Okay, this is on the second page of your lab, and you need to, right now, you need to copy these down. When we had 300 milliliters of only pool filter sand, it drained at 58.97 seconds for 200 milliliters to drain out. Coarse sand, it took 10.75 seconds for 200 milliliters of water to drain out. And for pebbles, the largest ones, it was 6.31 seconds. Please make sure you copy that down now. Okay, one person in each group is going to need to sort the sediment that we need. And what you're going to need to do is get a screen sieve set up and to make sure it's in this order. Pebbles, coarse sand, pool filter sand on the bottom. And it should go like this. The larger screen is on the top, and below that is a smaller screen, and then the bottom captures the rest, which is called pool filter sand. Make sure they're in the correct order, that is very important. And then you will find a um, bucket of mixed sediments. It will probably be on the floor, and there'll be a plastic cup in there and take two cups, just pour them in there, be careful not to breathe it in, you don't, you don't want to breathe in the dust. Put the lid on like this, and then you shake it, and the way you shake it is back and forth, not up and down, back and forth like this. You do that for about 30 seconds to get them really well sorted. Once you've done that for, once you've done that for 30 seconds, you then go over to these buckets here, Again, not careful not, not to breathe the dust. And you put the, make sure you're putting the pebbles in the correct container and dump it in there. And then the medium sand, make sure your medium sand goes in the medium sand bucket. And then make sure your pool filter sand goes in the pool filter sand bucket. Okay? Don't mess that up. Don't put them in the wrong buckets. That would be bad. Okay? And then what you should do is that same person as the other people in the group are setting up the rest of it should, should do this again. So you, so you do it twice. You get the same thing, okay? Two more scoops, again, not breathing it in. 
Shake it back and forth like that for about 30 seconds. Dump them in the correct containers. And then you should rejoin your group uh, who, are, who are setting up and get started on the main part of this lab. Back here at the permeability lab, we're at the next step where we have to decide what type of mixture of sediments we want to use. You have a choice of pebbles, coarse sand, and pool filter sand. Mr. Mr. Gazda and Ms. Ferlito will be deciding how much of each sediment they would like to use in order for 200 milliliters of water to come out in 51 seconds. Don't write that down. You will come up with one on your own. But now we're going to take a look at the conversation they have in order to decide, to decide what to use. Okay, Ferlito. So our target time is 51 seconds. Okay, the pool filter stands at 58.97, coarse sand, Drains at 10.75 and pebbles are the fastest at 6.31. So, we need a total of 300 milliliters. We need a total of 300 milliliters. So, what do you think? So, since that time's really close to 58.97, I think we need a lot of pool filters. Yes, we need a lot so, to slow it down. So, yes. I would say maybe like 200 milliliters okay. of that. That sounds good. 200 does milliliters. Sound, I was going to say something like that. Does that sound good like to that. you, uh, Tito? I mean, Mr. Gazda? Yep, I was going to say something like okay, that. Okay. And, and then coarse sand. I think we need some of it to s speed it up a little bit. How about like, uh, this thing like 75 milliliters? Okay. Which means that we would have 25, and 25 milliliters. of the pebbles. Okay, now does that add up to 300? 25? Yeah, so it must add up to 300. We got that. Well, cool. Let's, let's try it. That, then one thing we need to do before we do that. Oh, that's right. We need to uh, write these layers in. And they said you can't have pool filter sand at the bottom, so maybe we'll put the pebbles down at the bottom, we'll label that. Mm -hmm. And then this is coarse sand, and then they will have the pool filter sand at the top. And then we'll have to keep that the same every time to be consistent. Okay, we should try it. Okay, so now that we decided on how much sediment we need, let's go back um, a bit and show the materials you're going to need for this. I'm going to show you what you're going to need to do. So what you're going to need is, here is a tube uh, set up, there's a screen on the bottom, and you're going to need one of those. You will need um, beakers, you'll need four beakers, and you're going to remember that two of them will be wet, but two should stay dry for the sediment. And you will need two of these high-tech funnels. One will get wet and stay wet, and the other one, make sure it stays dry so the sediment doesn't stick to it. Okay, so now, Myself and my partner, Mr. Lita. Oh, we also need a stopwatch. Luckily, my partner recognized you need to, uh, you need to have a stopwatch because that's very important as well. Now what we're going to do, now that we decided on the number and the mixtures um, that we're interested in to try to get our target time, we're going to go and get the sediments, and we're going to get the water and actually do this. So watch how this is going to go. Okay, Ferlito, you get the pool filter sand, yep. 200 milliliters, mm -hmm. and you get the water, and I'll get the pebbles and coarse sand. Okay, here we go. Okay, I've got 25 milliliters of pebbles. Okay, and I'm getting in. I'm getting. 75? 75 of the medium sand. Let me get some medium sand over here. And I'm going to get the water. Alright, it's not easy to measure 75. That's good, 75 medium sand. And, okay. Now let's go back over here and let's follow our guideline again. We said the pebbles are going to be on the bottom. So, where's our dry funnel? This is our dry funnel, oh, no, right? That's, the, that's, that's, well, that's the dry one. It's important to make sure uh, not use the wet funnel to put the sediment in because it'll stick. Okay, we said that's our 25 milliliters there. This is our uh, coarse sand and then the pool filter sand on top for a total of 300 milliliters in total. That is important. So, then, what also is very important is
to coordinate this with your partner, the pouring. I have to start and see at, at, the, at the correct time. I have to make sure my stopwatch is zero, make sure I know how to start it and stop it and clear it. And then we have to coordinate here. And so I need to transfer you need, you need to get the wet, wet funnel. Right. Okay, for later. Um, you um, three, two, pour, one. Yeah, three, two, one, you pour it, and I'm going to start it. As soon as the water hits the um, high tech funnel, I will start the stopwatch. And I'm timing how long it takes 200 milliliters to get out, and I hope we're on our target time. Okay, I'm ready when you are. And when I'm pouring, I'm pouring it all at once, as fast as I possibly can. Yep, and say, say three, two, one. Okay, ready? Be good. Yep. Three, two, one. Start. Okay. Looking pretty good for Lido. What's the time? 34 seconds. Not bad. Forty six point one five seconds. Not bad. Not bad for the first try. And our target time is fifty one, so we need to slow it, slow down, it down a bit. So we need to add more. Large sediments, right? I mean, sorry, more small, small sediments, sediments to slow so, it down. So, so now we need to go back to the drawing board and say we got 46.15 seconds. We're trying to get 51, so we, we need to add something to slow it down. We're going to add more of the pool filter sand because it's smaller, and we're going to try it again. And that is what you're going to do. That is what the goal of this lab is. Now, you are not going to have the target time of 51 seconds. You will have a different target time. But that's what we're going to do. So what, we're, what you need to do to get a new setup is we need to clear this out and kind of clean it up. This is going to be a very messy lab. Do you want to dump that out for later? Sure, I'll dump okay. it out. And you're going to wash. So dump up it yeah. over there. You follow for later. I'll dump the water out. On the floor, on the floor. Okay. And yes, you may need to smack it a bit to get everything out. And you may need to mop some of the water they got on the floor like this. Uh-oh. Okay, and we have three more trials to try to get closer to our target time. And um, that's, uh, that's pretty much what we need to do for the first part of this lab. So good luck, and then uh, we're going to show you what to do for the second part, and we'll get you started in just a little bit. Once you finish the first part in your four trials, and you've cleaned up very thoroughly, and you cleaned up the floor and the desk, and you put everything away, and you cleaned up all the water, you will then go on to the second part of this lab, which deals with capillary action or capillarity. That is water moving upward on its own through sediments. Now, you're going to see a setup such as this, and what you have here as I zoom in, is there is water and the water moves upward in the sediment. Okay, and in this case you can see how high up the water has traveled to about there based on how dark it is. And for instance in this tube here that has different size sediment, here's the water, and you can see that the water has traveled up to about there. It's a little hard to see. Okay. And if we move over, we see the water level is here. And in this, the water moves up to about there. And you can see, again, by the darkness. This is a series of questions on this. Make sure you do these. And then it's even part three. All right, here's the moment you've been waiting for. The target time we're going to give you. Don't forget, make sure you have these copied down. Pool filter sand drains at this rate, coarse sand, if it's only coarse sand drains at this rate, pebbles at this rate. The target time you're after, you need to mix all these together because you want the water to drain out at a rate of 37.0 seconds. Write that in on your lab right now, 37.0 seconds. 
all right? So don't forget, you have to sit down with your partners first thing and decide how much of each for a total of, your sediment must be a total of 300 milliliters of sediment, okay? You will pour in 400 milliliters of water and time how long it takes 200 milliliters to drain out, okay? You have four chances to do this, and those are on the next page where you fill that in. So I think we've done a good run through of the directions for the permeability lab. Um, do your best, ask questions if you need it, and good luck.